want to show about our project for the CNC competition 2017. Uh, our topic is interactive learning control for controlling control of two edges CNC machine tools by using the equivalent control error model. Uh, here is our contents today. Mm, the first is abstract, the second is motivation, uh, concepts and application, system structure, key technology, conclusion and re reference. The, the, let's go through the abstract. The accuracy of machine tools can be improved through the, using the learning control algorithm. So, this algorithm, algorithm provides a better input command toward to the closed loop system without inference to the real time controller. Uh, because of complexity of actual control error model, so in our project we use the concept, new concept, equivalent control error. And here's our motivation for take part in taking part in this competition. We want to challenge and experience uh, uh, the industrial application. And the second reason is with the in the 4.0 industry, smart machine and IoT are booming. So for that reason, in our project, we use the machining data collected and then we use to analyze we use this data to analyze and for the making a better decision and of course the control errors will be gradually reduced after several learning times and we use the equivalent control error model is an alternative way for the estimate the control error model when it comes to concepts and application, uh, as we might mention earlier, we use a equivalent control error concepts instead of using the actual control error. It's so difficult to find. Uh, so our objective control is we try to reduce the equivalent control error. E equivalently. We also reduce the actual control error, and the equivalent equivalent control error is easy. It quite easier for us to form this model because this is an enterprise function, and come to applications of IOC and equivalent control error model. For that concepts, we can use in the industry like. Uh, for con controlling control of fire CNC machine tool and for the tapping machines. In fire CNC machine tool, we use to control the contouring and for the tapping machine, use IOC and equivalent control error for the synchronize the speed between the, the spindle as for the DSS and spindle. And here's the, our system structure. Uh, our system structure has uh, X and Y axis. X and Y axis. Uh, for each axis, we have real time controller, real time feedback controller. And then uh, after one machining time, we collect, we collect the data and then put in to the equivalent control error model and learn go through the learning controller to modify the command for the next next machining time. That means our our uh, algorithm is uh, used is used um, the upline update rule. And here is a key technology which you apply interactive learning control. Let me show you some advantage of this algorithm. 
uh, our algorithm is a, is, a, is a method use the error data from the previous time machining and previous commands to improve the next time input commands without inferencing to the real time controller working at a low level. And here is a linear update rule. The key point in our technology is how to design the L matrix or how to design the learning matrix in order to make the equivalent controller gradually decay to zero. And here is some simulation results. The first figure show that uh, you can see here. This is the uh, equivalent control error model. This is the uh, equivalent control error without IOC, without learning. And here, here is a uh, equivalent control error model after several learning times. And for the second figure, we can we can see that equivalently the actual control error model always de decrease after several learning time also and for the actual movement of X and Y table you can see the right one the right one is a uh, command we want to move the, the, the table follow the circular path and after 8 learning time you see you see a, a little bit difference between the, the real movement and the common the reference and conclusion at the train in 4.0 industrial revolution ILC algorithm makes queue up the collected machining data in order to analyze and give a better decision as a commands to the CNC machine tools uh, moreover we also have used the equivalent control error model concepts as an objective control instead of using the actual control error model and here is our reference and when we come to the production cost estimation and future industrial value uh, here is the table of material cost of course we need we need CNC controller delta and we need some uh, software and we need some mechanical structure and here is personal cost and all of these things are domestic components thanks for listening